But welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And more and more information is still coming out from what took place yesterday in Pennsylvania, where President Trump was shot while he was speaking. Uh, there was lots of, uh, obviously, rumors and speculation of what was taking place. We are now getting uh, more evidence that the police stood down from the shooter. That's right. They actually had encountered the shooter on top of the roof, and the shooter pointed his rifle at the police officers, and they retreated. Moments after that, the shooter opened fire on President Trump and on the people that were around him. Obviously, his primary target was Trump. This is breaking right now, so let's kind of take a look at this story coming to us from Breaking 911 over here. Over on Twitter, it says, uh, Breaking gunmen at Trump rally pointed the rifle at police officer who found him on top of the rooftop shortly before he opened fire. So one local police officer climbed to the roof and encountered crooks who pointed his rifle at the officer. The officer retreated down the ladder and crooks quickly took a shot toward Trump. And that's when Secret Service sniper shot him, said the officials who spoke to the Associated Press on the condition of uh, being anonymous to discuss an ongoing investigation. This is, again, this is like uh, Uvalde all over again with officers retreating in the face of danger. We see what took place right there. If this officer would have actually acted courageously, he would have taken out the the actual shooter um, or have called more of a ruckus or created some type of anything in order to take him out. Uh, this is a other failure, uh, failure on so many different fronts. Uh, there was obviously Secret Service, uh, police officers. Everyone was being warned about this guy uh, just five five minutes or so before anything took place. Um, and then they allowed the shooter to take shots before neutralizing them. This needs to be investigated very thoroughly and not by the FBI, the FBI who has not gotten to the bottom of, of course, of so many mass shootings that we've seen because somehow they're involved or they're always having uh, that person on their radar is uh, quite disturbing that these three letter agencies continue to run roughshod the way they have. Uh, and this is with the rhetoric coming from the mainstream media, uh, the Democrats and as a whole, and of course, uh, Biden, as they have ratcheted up their language against Trump over the course of this year. Uh, of Ken, comparing him to Hitler, uh, comparing him to uh, being authoritarian, um, and everything else uh, that he's going to lock up the gays and everything like that, and has caused a massive uh, breakdown in people's psychology where they are now taking up their own arms in order to go after President Trump because they feel he is the threat that they continue to warn about. And the temperature is still not going to go down. There are so many lefties who were celebrating this uh, as the event took place. Mainstream media is now trying to blame Trump for it uh, instead of actually placing the blame where it belongs, which is on the shooter and those who had inflamed him. These are the uh, rules that the Democrats have laid down. Remember, they're the ones who said when Trump said fight like hell um, that he was responsible for January 6th. But yet Joe Biden and Democrats can uh, obviously say uh, we need to paint a bullseye on Trump. And Trump is a threat to democracy and he is an existential threat to the nation and everything else. Do you not think there's blood on their hands? Absolutely, because there's people that died last yesterday as a result of their, their reckless words. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope they get down to a complete investigation into this officer, the police uh, who were present there, of course, the Secret Service. Everybody that was involved in this needs to uh, answer, um, and there needs to be some type of accountability that proceeds. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hit that like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.